Well, hello guys, here I'm with another video. This time we're going to be solving a question for the great tens related to vectors. And this one is preparing for the final year examination. This question was done in the Eastern Cape in 2022 and it's a good question, so let's look at it. The question, I'm going to leave the question in the description below so you can answer the question before watching the video. The question says a group of people pulling the rope to the opposite direction as shown below. A. Woman applies a force of 15 Newton eastward. So let's do the following. We have a rope. This dot will represent the, the, the dot, the, the force. Sorry, the, the, the rope. And then on that specific rope, there is a force being applied to the east, which is 16 Newton by that woman. However, they say two men apply forces of 19 and 21 against the woman. So there are also two men pulling one of them to the west as well as the other one. This one is a 19 Newton. Let's say for instance, 19 Newton. And there's another man pulling also to the west direction with 21 Newton. This is actually what we have. There is a rope, which is the dot point here, and there is a person pulling to the east, and there are two other persons pulling to the west. Define the term resultant vector. And this definition is a, a what resultant vector is a single vector having the same effect as two or more vectors together. Now that question guys is 99% probability of being in the exam, that definition of resultant vector. Single vector with the same effect as two or more vectors together. That is the correct definition. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector affected by men and women on each other. They don't say if it is um, uh, graphically or algebraically, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to do it algebraically because it's quite simple. So, to answer this question, the first thing we're going to do is to write the data and select a direction. So, you can say either in east is positive or west is positive, and this one is entirely up to you. For example, let's say east is positive, and we are going to write it here. So, we are going to write east is positive. It means that everything that is pointing to the east is positive, and anything that is pointing to the west is negative. So, for sake and organize, let's write here F1. This main one of them is F2 and the other one is F3. All right, those are just by to making the things easier. So, let's say F1, which is the force of the woman, is to the east and therefore it's going to be positive 16 Newton. All right, F2 is one of the men and it's going to be 19 Newton, but because it's to the west and we say that um, east is positive, it's going to be negative. And F3 is the other man and is 21 Newton, but because it's to the west, it's also negative. They, uh, they ask to calculate the resultant force acting on the rope. That is the question mark. So when you come here, you say F resultant force is equal to and let's write the positive force. So we have F1, all right? And let's, let's take off that symbol, minus, because it's positive, F2 minus F3. So we have here that the resultant force is equal to 16 minus 19 minus 21. Okay, if you want to keep these uh, symbols, Everything is positive, and then when you substitute, you substitute the correct number. I think this one will be better if you do it in this way. If not, in this formula, I keep the vector notation. So when you solve this one, you get that the resultant force is equal to minus 24 Newton. Now, what is the minus meaning? The minus mean west. So the resultant force, just to give the final answer, you can say that is 24. Newton in the west direction. Guys, this is the final answer for this question. Very simple. In this case, it's algebraically addition, but sometimes they ask you for um, graphically representation. So in this question, you will get one mark for the substitution, one mark for the answer, one mark for the direction. And then in this case, they gave one mark for the substitution of the um, 19 minus 12 and one for the 
16. That is how they gave the mark. This is the end of the video. Now, shall you do it graphically? We can quickly do it here. They didn't give any scale, but let's for instance say that a 10, um, let's say one, a 10 Newton is going to be equivalent to one centimeter. So this is important. You need a scale, and this one is only if they ask you to do it graphically. So this one will be 1,6 centimeters this one will be 1,9 centimeters and this one will be 2,1 centimeters now you are coming here and you are going to take the rope and make sure you start it with the rope somewhere this one is the rope and it's the starting point so i'm going to call it zero here so you are going to come with the first force which could be f1 but it could actually be any one you're going to take and make sure you draw a 1,6 centimeters to the east and I am not using this one at a uh, scale, so this one is going to be 1,6 centimeters to the east. This one is F1. Be careful with the head. Don't you take too much. So this one is actually F1. Now, from that point, my recommendation, right on the head of the first vector, draw a dotted line straight down like this. So you know there you have to start and draw the next vector. Now, the next vector it's going to be 1,9 centimeters from there. So all the way from the bowward in the direction west, you are going to draw the 1,9 centimeter. This is F2. Let's do it here so I can put the symbol notation. F2 there. Um, sorry about that. F2 there it is. Now, right at the end or on the head of the second vector you draw, you once more going to have another dotted line so you know the next vector will start from there and i will keep the direction as it was in this case it's going to be 2,1 centimeters so from here you are going to draw all the way we say ruler 2,1 centimeters remember i am not using the ruler so you do it accurately with your ruler this is f3 and there is the end now what we have to do once more, another dotted line right on the head of the first vector. Where is the resultant? The resultant starting from the tail of the first vector you draw, which is F1, to the head of the last vector you draw. So it's going to be the vector that is coming from the starting point to this. This is FR. And now how do you get the magnitude? Well, you have to use your ruler and go back from centimeters to Newton. If you do it correct, this one will give you 24 Newton, which in other words, it should be 2,4 centimeters. If you do that, this one is the graphically representation. They ask you to do it algebraically, but this one is the graphically representation and it's very, very easy. It's not difficult. This one is graphically graphically representation but guys thank you for watching this is all for this video it's quite so short next time we're going to be working with this question it sounds oh, it looks quite interesting in terms of distance displacement and so on it's a good question don't miss that video thank you for watching thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here